Welcome back. Well, have you ever seen a drifter hitchhiking and wondered what life choices brought that person to that type of lifestyle? Well, as Chris Fleck reports, one such drifter has an interesting backstory. My main goal is to help homeless people and get drug addicts clean. That is my main focus. Steven Roof is homeless. He's also a drifter and an author of two books. I sat down here at the pilot truck stop in Fawcett to learn more. When I was like five or six years old, I uh, had a dream in life that I figured you only live once, see as much as you possibly can while you're still alive. And I always wanted to travel and see the world. While job hunting in his car, Stephen Roof met two drifters who invited him to pack a bag and follow them to California, promising that it would change his life forever. Basically, I was like, all right, and I went to my house, grabbed my stuff, and that same day, uh, we went from Ohio to Colorado in one night. When I was almost you know, halfway across the country, I was just blown away. I was like, wow, these, these people are getting me around everywhere. This is crazy. And we was basically asking for gas all the way across America. During his travels, he began to take notes, and his wife at the time started to read them. Once I got the book done, she read the whole thing, and then she was really adamant, you need to publish this. This is crazy. This would become his first book called Diary of a Drifter. I want people to know how hard we live. I've been told my book uh, changes how kind you are to people. It gives people hope. It teaches how to get food, gasoline if you're broke down, hotel rooms if you're out in the winter cold and sleeping in the snow. I knew this knowledge would save lives, so that's what forced me to publish it homeless. And I've been told that that diary is so powerful that everybody on the planet should read it once. It basically teaches you how to get the community to help you wherever you're stranded. While on the road, Stephen became addicted to drugs. He later discovered a rapper named Kalichi, whose lyrics spoke to him to the point where it was enough to turn his addiction around. Stephen attributes his sobriety to his friend Kalichi in his second book, Kalichi's Helping Hand. I uh, got a hold of Kalichi himself. I said, hey man, this, uh, this song you made is helping me get off of drugs in a really big way. I've been sober almost a year now because of what you put in this song. When you're staying positive, amazing things can happen. Steven loves to share his life experience in hopes of helping others. For KQ2, I'm Chris Fleck reporting. And if you're interested, Steven Roof's two books are Diary of a Drifter and Kalichi's Helping Hand. Those are both available on Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com.